Thank for you so much indeed. Again. <laughs> well, the busy maritime hub at Belfast Harbour is attracting more and more women to take on roles which would have once been seen as men only jobs. But Rita got her hard hat on to catch up with some of these impressive ladies. A bustling and buzzing hive of activity at Belfast's Harbour Estate, handling nearly 70% of Northern Ireland's seaborne trade and a quarter of the entire island of Ireland. It's a major maritime hub, a vital gateway for exports and consumer goods. Once an all-male environment, a changing picture is emerging, with women playing a vital role in keeping operations shipshape. First of all, time flies by when it's busy, and there's such you get a great feeling, great sense of satisfaction when you walk out the door at the end of the day and you can say to yourself, that was really busy, but I did a really good job. Sarah Newell has been a port controller at the harbour for five years, handling the day-to-day -day traffic of ferries, freight, container vessels, to name a few, all needing safe and efficient transport in and out of the harbour. And of course, cruise liners with over 150 booked in for this year. It's a busy, demanding job, but one she loves. You have days when you come in and it is so busy, so hectic. The phone doesn't stop, the radio doesn't stop. There's always one thing after another going on. Things do go wrong. You can have, um, thankfully I've never had one, but collisions can occur, near misses. It can all just get a little bit crazy in here at times. So those are clear lines of two boats, one's a pilot, one's a boat. Harbour Radio, yes. Harbour Radio, Harbour Radio. Sir, I'll just approach number 12 outward now. Uh, could you give us a check on the tag gauge, please? Yes, 12 out, tag gauge reading 2.6 metres on the ebb. Traffic Initially, it was a very male-dominated environment, um, but there's definitely a growing change in that now. As long as the person has the ability to do the job, their gender should be irrelevant. You'd experience at the odd times vessels coming in with foreign crew where, to them, it's culturally acceptable to maybe not give a woman the same amount of respect um, and you do have to fight that a little bit hard especially if you're giving them an instruction. A civil engineer for 14 years, Magella Agnew, can be working on up to 10 projects at different stages at any one time. There's not many jobs where you actually build um, infrastructure and buildings where at the end of the day you can stand back and look at what you've built and you know I look over my career and I can see buildings and infrastructure roads and bridges where I've built them and I'd say I was part of that team. One of Magella's many projects currently underway is here at Victoria Container Terminal. The majority of products that come through this terminal, if you think of um, items in your house, a yeah. lot of that would come through this terminal. All my online shopping typically comes somewhere like this and big items that come in and go out of the country pass through places like this. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's totally amazing. I'm very impressed. <laughs> yeah, it's a very interesting place to work. You know, it's, it's a unique um, business. With a great head for heights, former international rugby player Grace David is a maintenance technician. We could be out doing wire rope inspections or engine services of that equipment. We could be in here welding, making up, uh, fabricating new guards for the crane. I like, uh, you know, if you have a problem, you're trying to take a grab apart and you're welding nuts on to pull pins out and it won't go. And, you know, we work well as a team. Everyone has their, their strong points and we help each other out. The only woman among a team of over 20 men, Grace couldn't feel more at home here at the harbour. I don't know any difference, you know, from when I went to college, it, there was two girls in a whole class. I think, you know, I try and prove myself, I suppose, at the start of them that I'm able for the job. You know, if there was something that was maybe a bit heavier, you're going, no, I can, I can get this off. The guys were just pure gentlemen. They were like, oh, Grace, you know, I'll get that for you. You know, don't worry about lifting that, I'll help you. And I'm like, I'm paid the same as you, you know, I can do this job, you know. Now it's a case of uh, I'm an equal and they're like, well, if you can't get it, find a different way to do it, you know. As life at the Harbour Estate in Belfast is set only to get busier, it looks like more and more women are finding these jobs an attractive option, and one that hopefully more young women might be given the option of pursuing. Career advisor came in one day. I remember vividly him coming in and asking me, what do you want to do? I expressed an interest in the Merchant Navy, which he dismissed, brushed off. What would you say to him now? 
next time a young girl comes and has aspirations of the Merchant Navy, give a bit more consideration. Don't just see the gender, see what a female is capable of doing. Too right, absolutely brilliant. After the break, I'll be talking to the four.